What is going on, everybody? Oh my god, I'm going off. Um, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to some Forza Horizon 5 with a brand new car added to this game. This is an SVT Cobra Mustang, uh, whatever you want to call it. It has a long name. Ford Mustang SVT Cobra, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, it's a weird one, this one, because we, we, we've had the, the other one in the game. Which I'm pretty sure it was in pretty much every other Forza game, like Forza Horizon or Forza Motorsport. We have the other Cobra, if I can find it. Uh, should be. There it is. The SVT Cobra R from the year 2000. This, the, just don't worry about the stats. The stats are changed because uh, it's modified and all that. Even it's all wheel drive as well. Um, but I don't know if we've ever had this one in any sort of games. Um, yeah, it's a weird one though, isn't it? This was back when, when Mustangs didn't really look like Mustangs too much. Um, but I really like this. I think the front end of this is hella aggressive. Just overall, the car itself is super aggressive. I love this shape Mustang. I've always, always loved it. It just looks really, really sick, in my opinion. Not sure if the Mustang is the right thing to call this car, but definitely a beautiful car, in my opinion. I think it's a really, really good looking car. But like I said, again, I don't know if Mustang was the right thing to call this thing because it just doesn't really look too much like a Mustang, um, if you know what I'm talking about. And, I mean, it was the same thing with the Fox body as well, but I love this thing. I think it's sick. I think every single time I've seen a video of these things, um, they're just racing, doing highway racing and pulls and stuff like that, which is probably what I'm going to do in this video with this thing. Um, so I like it. Sounds really good too, actually. I don't know how accurate this is to real life, but it sounds pretty decent too. Now, to get this thing, all you have to do is get your 20 points this season. And that's it. It's pretty easy. Pretty pretty self-explanatory. Just, just get your 20 points and you're pretty much done. So, yeah. Not particularly fast. Completely stock. Makes a lot of noise. In, in Forza world, it's very slow. In real life, probably not that slow, but... In, in, in the Forza world, it's it's very slow. From 30 miles an hour. From 40 and 4th. It changes gears so slowly because it's manual. I actually really like the interior as well. It's got the, the white SVT dials as well. Quite a lot of torque. Can I point this towards the sun so you can see the dials? There you go. Sort of. <laughs> sort of, you can see the dials. Let's bring it over inside the festival and actually have a, a little poke around this thing. And obviously, I'm going to end up doing um, a bunch of changes to it. Looks good. Look at that. Fat-ass supercharger. It looks good. I like it. I, I seriously like every single thing about this car. I think it just looks so, so good. Here's the interior. Cobra on the wheel, manual. I mean, of course it's a manual, it's, it's 2003. That's, it's sick. I really like this thing. I've always liked these Mustangs. Really, really cool car. All right, let's, uh, let's do stuff to it. I want to keep the engine that's in it already, though. I don't want to change it to anything else. I feel like we could probably add, like, some weird engines into this thing, like V12s and that. I don't really care for that. So let's have a look at what is available for this thing. Uh, we can put an LS in it, we can put a diesel engine in it, there's the V12, there's a Viper V10, there's 5.2 V8? I don't know what engine this is from. Sounds good. Um, yeah. <laughs> we can put, I'm pretty sure this is the, uh, the 4 GT engine in this thing. <laughs> That is pretty ridiculous. I kind of want to mess with this engine a little bit just to see what, what's available to do to it. 914 horsepower is ridiculous. Uh, it's already supercharged. Uh, I kind of want to twin turbo it. If we're getting so much more power... Out of twin turbo, yeah, I'm going to do it. Um, I think they want us to, to drag build this thing. I think they want us to, to like, do some... Some silly things. 315s. Ah, oh, come on. We could have gone a little wider there. 
I actually like that. That's that's actually so sick. Oh my god. Okay. Well, since we can do that, let's uh, let's change to a set of, of drag wheels for this thing. It's still stupid to me that you can't change the front wheels and rear wheels independently. It, like, it, like what sort of wheels that you want on it. Please, if anybody watches this video from Playground Games, please let us change wheels individually. I feel like that's not something that should be very difficult to do in this game. Because you, you don't really have to change anything. All you do is just add an option where it allows you to change the wheels separately. That's it. So let us change the front wheels and rear wheels independently. Because I'd keep the stock wheels in the front end of this thing. And then for the rear wheels, I'd put like some, some drag wheels on it. And I think it would make it look so much cooler as well. Alright, well, since we're doing pulls with this thing, I need to give it some sticky tires. So we're going to put some drag radials on it. It looks good. It looks good like this. I'm not even going to change the, the front tire width. So it's already on 275s anyway, but I'm not going to change it. That is a, a, a chunky boy. That is a chunky, chunky boy. Alright, cool. Oh, we can change things to this thing. Oh, okay. Put a Celine front end on it. Get rid of that wing. Or we can put the Celine wing. Oh, this looks... This looks good. The wingless as well looks really sick. But the Celine wing looks even cooler. I'm putting that on. I don't even care. It looks good. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, do, do, do we have these parts available for uh, for the other Mustang? I don't think so, right? I think th these are just specific to this thing. As cool as the Celine parts are, I kind of want to keep the the regular. Oh, the hood though. The hood looks good. Full Celine kit would look very, very sick on this thing, but I just want kind of bits and pieces on it. Changed. Even the front end looks good as a selling kit. Okay. Like I said, I want to keep this as as stock as possible on the outside. Except for, obviously, those few bits and pieces. It looks so meaty like this. Oh, I love it. Alright. Let's uh, let's start adding race parts to this thing, obviously, to be able to adjust everything. Uh, brakes. It's already on Brembo's. I'm going to give it some carbon ceramics. As for this, I'm going to give it off-road suspension. I'm going to build this thing just to do poles on the highway. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be so sick. I also really want to try the uh, the Ford GT engine in this thing and see what's... I think the original exhaust sounds the best. 811 horsepower. 846 with a thousand newton meters of torque. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad for for just a bit of straight line power. Okay, I really want to swap the engine engine in it just to see what it's like. All right, let me just start doing things to this car and uh, see if we can get this thing to be uh, quick on the highway. Anyway, oh, I love it. <laughs> it just looks so beefy like this. Alright, let's bring it on the highway. Put my foot there, let's see what happens. I was gonna say, it's still an S1. Yeah, the original exhaust is so much better for this. Like I said, I wanted to keep the standard engine just to see what's, what the power is like on it. I already know some people are going to be like, Why did you put an off so special on it? Because then it squats and it lifts even more. See what I mean? But I think we need the... Uh, I think we need the other engine. I think we need the Ford GT engine in this thing. Unfortunately, it is a V6. It's not a V8, but still. What are these guys doing? Are they doing runs? They're all in like 
crazy fast hypercars. This is boring. What's the burnout like on this thing? Oh my god, launching it is pretty decent though. Those front wheels cannot hold it back. <laughs> okay. What about launch control? Does launch control keep it in check? Not bad. I wonder if we could pop a wheelie with this thing if we put the Ford GT engine in it. I mean, it's significantly faster than what it was before, obviously, but... Are we really surprised that it is? We gave it, like, an extra, what, 500 horsepower? Goes past 200 miles an hour with ease. Still climbing. Still going. 222, 223, 224. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great with the stock engine. It's cool, and I'd rather have it with the stock engine, but we can't really pull, like, a serious amount of power out of it. All right, um, let's, uh, let's swap it. Let's swap it. Okay. One thousand four hundred and sixty horsepower. How do I? <laughs> this is more like it. This is more like it. I'm still keeping it rear wheel drive as well. I don't care. It's still staying as rear wheel drive. I'm actually so disappointed that we can't have like this much power. I think with a stock engine. That little graph is saying two hundred ninety miles an hour, and uh, obviously our top speed is two six nine. So I don't think it's possible to hit the two ninety. But this is. I feel like this is gonna be really fast. Jesus. <laughs> I'm trying to just do a burnout with it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is so much faster. It is significantly faster than what it was before. What do I have damage on? Oh my god, I'm still playing on some damage. I was... Oh my god. So since I did that video... Of playing with sim damage... Wait, there's a guy pulling up on us. I wonder if he wants to race. Come on, pull up. Car is he in? Is that lucid? I don't even know what it is. What car is that? Oh, he's like hitting everything in my screen. <laughs> Yes. This is seriously fast. Oh my god. Yeah, it's kind of stuck at 269. I want to bring it the other way, but I want to, like, launch it as well. It's so fast. Paul is nuts. I'm actually kind of tempted to build this thing as like a drag build. If I all wheel drive swap it, I wonder how good it will be. And can we keep this engine in it? Obviously, that's that's a big thing. It's a fast car. Like, really fast. Come on, come on, come on. 
Keep it in S1. If it stays in S1, it'd be sick. Oh my god, we can actually get this thing to be in S1. Mmm, interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna test on the festival drag strip. I think that, I think that one could be alright. Okay. Come on. I need to find out what the top speed is and I need to adjust my gears and apart from that, I think we're pretty much done. Actually, let's do this as well. Steering, we can go to standard, I think. Right can I turn that off? Actually, steering, we go to assisted, right? Maybe that's off, traction control off, everything else is off. Manual clutch, maybe we can keep that on. Uh, apart from that, I think we're good. Right? I think so, anyway. Alright. Let's hit it. Launch was horrendous, but we can fix that. Let's see what sort of speed we can hit here. Two, three, five. Okay, let's go again. I'm gonna fix my gears though. I don't think it's quick enough. I don't think it's quick enough to be. To be competitive. I mean, the stats are sick on it. The stats are very, very sick on it. I'm still getting like very similar times every single time I'm doing a run there. Can I tune this better? Yeah, probably, but I just. I don't know. It's not quick enough. It's just not quick enough. I feel like I'm getting very similar times every single time I do a run. Um, yeah, I, I I don't know what to really do with it. To make it quicker. I mean, there's 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 a few things that I could possibly do, but it's just not competitive. It is still very fast, but it's not like OP car fast. You know what I mean? Like, the Porsche there is just unbelievably fast. It's just such a good car. Um, I, I can't, I can't really compete with that. It's just not, it's just not gonna happen. It's about as clean as I can get it at the moment. It's about as clean as I can get it. I can't get it to be faster. 13.3? I actually wanna have a look in the world where I am with about 13.3. I don't think it's gonna be very, like, crazy, uh, high up on the leaderboards, but... Yeah, like I mean, I mean, <laughs> all the times that people are getting here are like really, really fast. Like these are some some of the fastest times. By the way, the, the twelve seconds dead is like one of the fastest times. I think I think the fastest is like eleven point like what was it like eleven point eight or something like that. Like there's some seriously fast times, and the time that I've set as well on that on that leaderboard. Oh, sh sorry, it's not eleven point eight. Eleven point eight is like the S two right or something like that or eleven point. I don't even know. I can't remember exactly. I mean, these are all cheated anyway at the very top here of the leaderboards. Like, where I, where am I in the world with my run? Like, I'm 1,451. Like, you know what I mean? And, like, these are some of the fastest cars, again, that I'm using here. So, about, what was it, 13... What did I say? It's like 13 point something. I can't remember what it was exactly. It's like low 13s. I mean, it's still, like, just Dodge Dart and Nissan Tsuru and... Like, I mean, these are all still, like, pretty fast cars. They're not, like, OP cars or anything. So, again, it's it's a fast car, this this Cobra, but it's just not up there being, like, super OP or anything like that. Um, but I love it. It's, it's, it's actually so sick. There's just something about it. There's just something about it that just... is so cool. I feel like it could be a fun car as well to just mess around on the highway. Even though I really don't like having this engine in it. Like, I definitely would, would change it back to stock. But yeah. Anyway, if you've built this thing for anything else, let me know down in the comments below. I'm down to try it out um, for for something else. If you if you want to send over some of, uh, some of your tunes, do it over on my Discord. But yeah, I think for now, that's pretty much it for this uh, SVT Cobra. I love it. It's very, very cool. Try it for yourselves, like I said, and let me know what you think of it. But for now, that's it. Thank you for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.